Hello students, in this session we are going to study the strain energy stored due to impact loading. So this is the case figure for the impact loading. There is a collar and there is a load. The total length of the uh, bar is L and this load is at a distance H from the collar, right? And this is this falls due to gravity uh, on the collar, right? And due to this fall, there is an impact. This is called impact loading, impact on the collar, right? Due to which there is deflection delta L in the collar, right? And we want to find out the strain energy stored and what are the stresses developed here. A main aim is to find out the stresses and we will apply the strain energy concept to find the stress stored in the uh, bar what is the stress stored in the bar due to that impact loading right so this is the figure for the impact loading so uh, we know that the strain energy is given by strain energy whenever stress is there the strain energy is given by sigma square upon 2e multiplied by the volume this is the strain energy but we are not aware about the stress what is the stress developed right so what is the stress now uh, this load p falls on the collar by height h and also uh, deflected through an, uh, height delta l so total total height through which this falls is h plus delta l so what is the work done by this load p so work done by load will be equal to that will be equal to load multiplied by the distance so that will be equal to load multiplied by the distance h plus delta l and this work done will be stored in the material in terms of strain energy so this will be given by sigma square by 2e multiplied by volume what is volume that is area area multiplied by the length of this bar say the total length of this bar is l total length of this bar is l so then this sigma square upon 2e multiplied by area into length and that will be equal to p h plus delta l now we know what is delta l delta l that is equal to sigma l upon e that we have already studied sigma l upon e so sigma square by 2e al p h plus delta l so here sigma square upon 2e al this delta l can be replaced with sigma l upon e we have studied in this in this our first chapter so we can write here sigma square by 2e multiplied by a al plus that will be equal to p h plus sigma l upon e this is the deflection delta l right so uh, we can take this part here and we can solve this equation so this is sigma square by 2e multiplied by al minus minus sigma PL upon E PL upon E minus PH equal to 0 right now we can further multiply this by E by AL multiplying this by E by AL what we are getting is sigma square upon 2 multiply it by E by AL E by AL minus sigma load upon area minus minus you will get p e h by a l p e h by a l because we are multiplying with e by a l so we have multiplied all the section by p by a l right we are getting this equation right we have multiplied this equation we have multiplied multiply by uh, that is e by al 
E by AL and we, we are getting this result. Now, we are getting this result and now this is a quadratic equation. This is a quadratic equation. We can solve this quadratic equation for stress and we can find out stress. So we have applied this strain energy concept to find out the basically the stress. So what is the stress developed? So what is the stress developed? Solve it. This is a quadratic equation. It can be solved it. Minus B plus minus B square minus 4AC. So we can find out by 2A. So we can find out finally the stress developed in the due to impact loading and that will be equal to I am writing the direct answer P by A P by A 1 plus plus and minus under the root 1 plus 1 plus 2A E H upon P L so this is the stress developed due to impact loading. This is the stress which you have to remember developed due to impact loading 2AEH upon PL is the last term 1 plus minus 1 plus 2AEH upon PL. So this is the stress developed due to impact loading and we have applied we have used the strain energy concept to find out this stress. So this is how and this stress can be further used here to find out the total strain energy right so this is how we can find out the strain energy stored due to impact loading in the bar and also the stress developed in the bar right due to impact loading further in this case further here we can further simplify it we can assume that this delta l is very small compared to the height h from where the load was falling so we can further solve it i am removing this if h is much much larger than delta l the deflection is very small compared to the height through which the load was applied so the work done in falling of the load will be equal to p multiplied by the h h plus delta l was there now we have removed that delta l it remains p h right and from these two equation, this equation 1 and this equation 2, we can find out that sigma square, the strain energy stored will be given by sigma square upon 2E multiplied by the volume that will be equal to P times H. So from here, we can find out sigma, the stress developed in the material directly without any solving the quality equation, we can find out directly that this will be equal to under the root. 2 P H E upon A L. So this is the stress developed due to impact loading neglecting delta L. Neglecting delta L compared to H. Compared to H. Right? 2 P H E upon A L. So this is the stress developed when we neglect the delta L compared to H and when we are considering delta L this is the stress developed and we have utilized the strain energy concept to find out the stress developed in the impact loading.